Hello, Bumpy aka SP Lipsish here, and in this video, I am going to talk about the indigenous rights movement and and the and the significance of um the indigenous rights and decolonization movement to the Southern Californian anarchist and intersectional feminist movements, both of which I very much identify with. Now, <laughs> Now, I've always found it quite funny how, um, people, um, in the U.S. will rightly scorn anyone who, um, who denies the Holocaust in Germany, anyone who denies the Holodomor in in Ukraine, anyone who denies the Turkish government's um, role in the Armenian Genocide. Yet, yet when it comes to the U.S. government's own own crimes, um, such as the Indian Removal Act, um, under Jackson, the the wiping out of Native American tribes through um, through SARS written blankets which which was an organized effort on the part of European Americans, by the way. Um, the historical evidence clearly shows that this was a deliberate act of aggression on the part of the colonists. Um, right, it wasn't like an accident or a mistake. You can't say that it was that because we clearly have um, have historical um, historical records from the colonists of the time admitting that it was a deliberate act. Right, it, like, like, it was a premeditated racial, colonialist, criminal act. And, p 
people like to whitewash our history and our founding fathers and and act like the founding of our country was all about um, freedom and equality for everybody. But no, it was about freedom and equality for the specifically of Western and Northern European descent. Pretty much everybody else, whether they were women, um, African Americans, Indigenous Americans, were fucked. And anybody who was poor was fucked. Anybody who didn't have the quote-unquote proper education was fucked. And yet, we're, huh, we're supposed to think of this country as the land of the free and the home of the brave, despite the fact that if you actually look at, at the history without all the revisionist bullshit and all the academic, um, right-wing propaganda that's piled up over the years. You're, all the nationalist bullshit that's piled up over the years. Our nation is... is... Our nation is... Well... Like, it's not even really a nation, it's, it's a bunch of, it's a bunch of disparate mini-corporations, and, and like, the, and like, the American Revolution was not a true revolution, because, sure, um, Legally speaking, we may be independent from uh, the crown and the monarchy of Great Britain, but but um who um but um who runs the biggest bank in this country? It's the Rothschild family. The Rothschild family are are British so-called Jews. Really, they're Khazars, but th that's what um, that's what Jews are falsely understood to be, because we've been indoctrinated that way by the colonialist system and the white supremacist system in this country. This has been Bobby A.K. Ashby Lipsish, Liberty, Equality, Fraternity, Goodbye.